I will hear not those who weep and complain for their disease and contagious. Think about that. If you're listening to the people who always are complaining about everything, who are always weeping and say, oh my God, look at this. Look at the obstacles at my feet. They're always looking at things that are bad in their life, but they're not looking at things that are good, you know, and what is good in their life. So if you're concentrating on things that are not good in your life, what are you going to get more out of? You're going to get more of the bad stuff. So it's very important not to listen to those who weep and complain and say, whoa, whoa is me. Bah. You know, the sheep, the sheep, there's nothing wrong with the sheep. Sheep are important. I'm not putting down sheep. They're very important. But why in the world, if you're a lion, why in the world would you want to spend time with a sheep? That's just a complete waste of time for a lion. You never see a lion hanging out with sheep. If he, if he did, he'd probably do something else. They wouldn't be hanging out with him, that's for sure. This is the 305 day challenge from the greatest salesman in the world. And the third school is what we're on right now. It's with, I will persist until I succeed. In the Orient, young bulls are tested for the fight arena in a certain manner. Each is brought to the ring and allowed to attack a picador who pricks them with a lance. The bravery of each bull is then rated with care according to the number of times he demonstrates his willingness to charge in spite of the sting of the blade. Henceforth will I recognize that I am tested by life in like manner. If I persist, if I continue to try, if I continue to charge forward, I will succeed. I, was, I will persist until I succeed. I was not delivered in this world in defeat, nor does failure course in my veins. I am not a sheep waiting to be prodded by my shepherd. I am a lion, and I refuse to talk, to walk, to sleep with the sheep. I will hear not those who weep and complain, for their disease is contagious. Let them join the sheep by God. It's no problem. Nothing against the sheep. We, won't, we don't want to put down sheep or people that want to be sheep. That's their, that's their choice. But unless you want to be a, don't want to be a sheep, then you shouldn't hang out with them because you are who you hang out with. That's just the way it is in life. The slaughterhouse of failure is not my destiny. Everybody has to make that choice. Is the slaughterhouse of failure your destiny or is it not? It's just a very small choice. I will persist until I succeed. The prizes of life are at the end of each journey, not near the beginning. And it is not given to me to know how many steps are necessary in order to reach my goal. Failure I may still encounter at the thousandth step, yet success hides behind the next bend in the road. Never will I know how close it lies unless I turn the corner. Always will I take a never step. If that is no avail, I will take another, and still another. In truth, one step at a time is definitely not too difficult. It's just one step at a time. I will persist until I succeed. Henceforth will I consider each day's effort as but a blow of my blade against a mighty oak. The first blow may cause not a tremor in the wood, nor the second, nor the third. Each blow of itself may be trifling and seem of no consequence consequence, yet from childish wipes, the oak will eventually tumble. So it will be with my efforts of today. I will be likened to a raindrop which washes away the mountain, the ant who devours a tiger, the star which brightens the earth, brightens the earth, the slave who builds a pyramid, a pyramid, a slave. I will build my castle one brick at a time, for I know that small attempts, repeated will complete any undertaking. I will persist until I succeed. I will never consider defeat. And I will remove from my vocabulary such phrases as quit, cannot, unable, impossible, out of the question, improbable, failure, despair. But if this disease of the mind should infect me, then I will work on in despair. I will toil and I will endure. I will ignore the obstacles at my feet and keep my eyes on the goals above my head. For I know where dry desert ends, green grass grows. These scrolls are like giving you a cup of water when you're going through the desert so that you always have something to drink so that you know at the end of the desert, if that's how you feel, you have the green grass. 
that's it, you're there. I will persist until I succeed. I remember the ancient law of averages and I will bend it to my good. I will persist with knowledge that each failure to sell will increase my chance for success at the next attempt. Each nay I hear will bring me closer to the sound of yes. Each frown I meet only prepares me for the smile to come. Each misfortune I encounter will carry in it the seed of tomorrow's good luck. I must have the night to appreciate the day. I must fail often to succeed only once. I will persist until I succeed. I will try and try and try and try and try and try again. Each obstacle I will consider as a medium to my goal and a challenge to my profession. I will persist and develop my skills as a mariner develops his by learning to ride out the laugh, wrath of each storm. I will persist until I succeed. Henceforth will I learn and apply another secret of those who excel in my work. When each day is ended, not regarding whether it has been uh, success or not, I will attempt to achieve one more sale. When my thought beckons my tired body homeward, when I feel like giving up and not doing anything more, and just call it evening and it's good to go, I don't want to do anything anymore, I will resist the temptation to depart. I will attempt to make one more sale. I will attempt to get a little bit more done today and have everything a little bit more further than it was the day before. Never will I allow to end any day with a failure. That's why I plant a seed of tomorrow's success and gain an insurmountable advantage over those who cease their labor at a prescribed time. When others cease their struggle, then mine will begin and my harvest will be full. I will persist until I succeed. Nor will I allow yesterday's success to lull me in today's complacency, for this is the great foundation of failure. I will forget the happenings of the day that is gone whether they were good or bad, and greet a new son with confidence that this will be the best day of my life. So long as there is breath in me, that long will I persist. For now I know one of the greatest principles of success. If I persist long enough, I will win. I will persist. I will win. And why shouldn't I win? How can I not win? How can anybody not win if you do this every day for three times a day, for seven times a week, for 305 days, for 915 recitations. That's absolutely impossible. So thank you very much for staying in tune and um, I'm looking forward for many hundreds more wonderful videos with you. All the best and peace.